Hello guys, welcome back to my Hello guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Red Visor and I hope you are having an amazing day today. Today we will be starting the new series on this channel called Noob to Pro on Roblox. Now guys, I think a lot of you know about this game in B Storm uh, Roblox called B Storm Simulator. And if you don't, it's this pretty cool game on Roblox and it's called B Storm Simulator. Where basically you want to uh, claim a hive and make a lot of bees, make honey, and get loot like this guy has. So in this series, we will be working towards getting to be a pro. Now, clearly we're starting out as a noob. This is a brand new account. And let's get right into the video. Okay guys, we're claiming out the middle hive. And the first thing we definitely want to do is upgrade our gear. So we're going to head on over to the shop. Now, a lot of you might be wondering, Red Advisor, you have zero honey. What are you going to get, huh? Well, don't worry, guys. If you go up here to the top left and click system, we can do the promo code WAX to get ourselves 5,000 honey and 5 tickets. We can use the code NECTOR to get ourselves 5,000 honey. And we can use the code ROOF. To get ourselves five more tickets. And when you look at that, guys, there's a stick bug challenge. Now, we will not be going after that today, so we'll ignore that for now. But, guys, with just some codes, we got ourselves 10,000 honey. So let's go ahead and buy ourselves this backpack. We will also be buying ourselves some clippers. Now the reason we're going for the clippers guys is because if we hop up here do some mini parkour jump up here work our way up these ladders we will not be going for those we have no bees right now if we walk down here we can see that there are some vines now since we have clippers, we can cut these vines. Clip, clip, clip. Now, you might be wondering what happens now. Well, if you jump over this lava, as I apparently cannot do, there's a mon uh, commander chick. Now, that commando chick was, is basically a boss you can fight. And if you defeat him, he will give you loot. Now, I do not recommend fighting the commando chick unless you have at least 10 bees. And trust me, guys, you will need them because the commando chick is pretty strong. And every time you defeat him, he grows by one level. So, what we're going to be doing, guys, is we start out with one basic egg right here. No honey or anything. We'll pop him right here. Now, guys, I want to save this middle area for all our most OP bees, such as our event bees, mythical bees, legendary bees, etc. So we are going to be building our foundational bees around here. Now, we got ourselves a basic bee, and that's pretty much what we're going to start with. So we're going to work our way up to black bear now he's a nice guy let's go talk to him hi i'm black bear you look like a promising new honey maker i happen to be a honey connoisseur that means i know a lot about honey and if you're willing to go through my training you'll be making tons of honey in no time first off collect 100 pollen from the sunflower field Now, I think what Beastorm Simulator is, the crowd is pretty mixed. 
A lot of people like when the YouTuber reads out the dialogue from the bears and other things. But some people don't. They think it's time taking and boring. So tell me in the comment section below. Do you like it when I read the dialogue? Or would you rather just be skip it? Tell me in the comment section below. The comment with most likes or most votes for like uh skipping dialogue or reading dialogue is what I will do for the rest of the series. For this series, I think I will just read out the dialogue. Now guys, if you hop up here on this ticket tent, like I have, you can walk back here and grab yourself a free royal jelly. If you're wondering what royal jelly is, you can put it on a hive slot that has a bee in it, of course, and it will transform that bee into a new different type of bee. Now guys, what we are going to do now is we're going to get ourselves another code. Now, as you can see, on it sitting up here in this corner right here. So what we're going to be doing is, as you can see, his container is filled up slightly with pollen. And we are going to be putting that number as a promo code. Because yes, guys, that number is a promo code. So the promo code is 382 set one seven and now we're going to redeem it guys that's five tickets for us for free guys promo codes are really good but be sure to save up the promo codes that have boosts because when you get more op then they will be more useful because you will be able to collect more pollen in short amount of time Now, as you can see, we got our first quest from Black Bear. It's called Sunflower Start. Now, we're going to start collecting some pollen from Sunflower Field. As you can see, that finished pretty quickly because we have ourselves some clippers and they are not too bad. Nice job. Here's a reward. Come talk to me again when you're ready for another quest. The pollen from each field produces slightly different honey. Most people can't tell the difference, but I can. That's why I love it here. There's so such a variety of flower patches. Each field is different. Sunflowers, mushrooms, clovers. But today, I've got a hankering for dandelion flavored honey. Why don't you collect some pollen from the dandelion field? 250 should be enough. Now, what we're going to do, guys, is we're going to walk up here, and while we're walking, we're just going to start collecting pollen. Now, guys, if you're staying in the same place while collecting pollen, as you can see, the flower went all the way down. Now, this is not good, because you're going to stop collecting pollen. What you should do as a tip is you should always be walking. So, whenever you collect pollen, you're collecting pollen from a new flower which will give you the maximum amount of pollen but guys we need to work our way up here jump up here and i think we're ready for our brown bear quest guys that's right there is another npc up here near cloverfield and he is named brown bear now there is a slight glitch I don't know if it's with the game or the computer I'm currently using, but there's no exclamation mark here, like there should be. Like there is on Panda Bear over there, but you can't see it right now. Anyways, let's talk to Brown Bear. Hey there, I'm Brown Bear. And now as you can see, the exclamation mark has just appeared. You ever heard of Royal Jelly? It's a special food that changes a bee's type. Apply it to a bee's honeycomb cell, and it'll instantly transform. The great thing is the new type will always be rare, epic, or legendary. Well, I happen to have a lot of royal jelly. Don't ask me how I got it. And if you complete my quests, I'll give you some. I'll only give you one quest every hour, though. Talk to me again whenever you're ready for a quest. 
Okay, guys, let's get his quest. Hey there, bud. Ready to get started? The road to an awesome hide is paved in royal jelly. If you want to unlock epic legendary and even mythical bees, you need royal jelly for sure. I've got plenty to share, and not just royal jelly. After certain milestones, I'll give you all sorts of cool rewards, including gold, diamond, and even mythic eggs. But those will come way down the road. For now, let's keep it simple. Check out the quest menu. I'll put in your quest menu and report back when you've collected all the pollen. Now, we ask for 1,200 pollen from clover field and 700 pollen from mushroom field. Now, as you can see, guys, there's a royal jelly up there that on it did put up there and on it i'll be honest with you guys is a bit of a troller now you guys will probably be tempted to try to keep on jumping up here until you well won't get up there because as you can see guys it is not working i can't jump high enough but don't worry guys i have a solution for you guys just be patient what you guys will need are some boots. Now, where do you get boots, you ask? I'll show you. In the basic shop, right over that corner, is, you guessed it, basic boots. Now, what we'll need to craft these is 3,000 honey, and 3 sunflower seeds, and 3 blueberries. So, we have to wait, because if we check our items, we do not have any sunflower seeds or blueberries. So that will come later. For now, let's finish up these quests. Because guys, when you're starting out as a noob like me, you will need to do these quests fast. Because that is what's going to get you honey faster. Every day I upload on this series, guys, I will only be recording for about 30 minutes. It will probably not be exactly 30 minutes, but about 30 minutes. Now guys, eventually we will become a pro, but I will not become a pro in two or three videos. Sorry guys, but today my audio isn't the best, but don't worry, it's just a issue for the, just this video. Next video, this problem will be fixed. Now as you can see guys, there is a rhino doodle and a ladybug attacking me right now. So let me give you guys a tip. If you keep jumping in front of moms like this, they will not jump at you. I don't know if this is a bug, but it works for sure. Now as you can see guys, my basic bee has run out of energy, so I should run. Now guys, another person has come here with some bees. So we're going to wait for his bees to kill our monsters. Now as you can see guys, my bee just leveled up. So now he's at level two. As you can see guys, we need to get some pollen from mushroom field. Not a problem. We'll just get this really quickly. So when you guys are starting out, it's very tempting to go on YouTube and search up all the codes and use them all at once. But guys, this is not the best idea at all. Because what you will notice is you cannot use the promo code twice. So once you use it, it's gone for good. So you better use, wait for those promo codes until you are decently good at the game and you have a lot of loot so you can get the most pollen out of those boosts you get from the promo codes now as you can see guys we have finished both of our quests so let's go turn them in those dandelions have grown out of control haven't they it's kind of hard to tackle, tackle the weeds without hurting the flowers. I figure it's best, it's best 
to just leave them be. Come talk to me again when you're ready for another quest. RNB is amazing. They collect pollen, make honey, and de even defend you from attackers. But did you know some bees are even more amazing than others? There are four classes of bees. Basic, Rare, Epic, and Legendary. Basic bees all look, the, at, look and act the same. But there are different types of Rares, Epics, and Legendaries. And those all have special abilities. Some of them are faster or stronger. Some of them even create tokens that give you special boosts. Those bees are pretty hard to get in basic eggs. But a silver egg has a guaranteed chance of being at least a rare. If you complete my next few quests, I'll give you a silver egg. But don't expect it to be easy. First collect 500 pollen. Now guys, as you heard from Black Bear, he will give us a silver egg if we do his quests. Now, this is why you really need to complete Black Bear's quest quickly. Because if you want to get a lot of bees quickly, then you need to rack up a lot of bees. So the more eggs you can get, the better. It's time for my next tip, guys. When you are making honey, don't stand all the way back here. You want to slowly walk up. Now the stop making honey button will disappear. As you can see, it disappears once they come off of this platform. But the reason you do you want to do this is because when you're closer to your bee, it does not have to travel very far. That means it can just go a little bit of distance and get more pollen to turn into honey, guys. So always do this. But don't, when you're doing this, you have to be very careful not to go too far. Because if you walk too fo much forward, as you can see, my bee stopped making honey and my backpack is not empty yet. So when you're doing it, stay a little back. Now what we are going to do, guys, is we're going to go to our items and we are going to use this royal jelly on our basic bee. And would you look at that, guys? We got ourselves a hasty bee. Now, hasty bees are very good bees because if you look at their bo boost and abilities, they give plus 40% move speed, which is very crucial. Down the line, you will really want move speed and plus 25% gather and convert speed. Now, convert speed is very important for us because when you're a noob, you do not make honey that fast. When you get more bees, it will be faster to turn pollen into honey. So convert speed is definitely something you want to look out for. And his second ability is haste. It grants plus 10% player move speed for 20 seconds. You can get 10 tokens and they will stack up. Now this is very good guys. Because as I said earlier, player move speed is very good if because when you become a pro, you do not want to be super duper slow. Because if you're too slow, then you will miss out on boosts, mob battles, and other important events like that. Now guys, throughout this series, I will be referring to noobs and pros. And when I say noobs, I don't mean like super epic hacker god pro. I just refer to someone who's decently good at the game. Like that, when I say noob, I do not mean, I'm not saying you're horrible at the game or you suck. I'm just saying that you are a beginner and you're starting out. As you can see guys, my HDB gave me a haste token and it gave me some haste. And now I'm going a little faster. What we want to do, guys, is when you're a noob, you're going to be very tempted because you have 6,000 honey or a big amount like that, right? 
So you want to just come up here, open this shop, and buy a bunch of basic eggs, right? Not so fast. If you go to the basic shop, that the basic shop should be your best friend. Do you know why? Because if you can get a better collector, then you will be able to speed up the process to becoming a pro. You see, when you have a lot of bees, it is true that you can convert pollen into honey faster. But if you cannot get pollen fast, then what's the use of being able to convert it into honey fast? You see, if you have a good collector, and you can get pollen at a very fast rate, then it's okay if it takes you a little bit of time to convert the pollen into honey. Because later down the line, you can buy more bees and speed up that process. As you can see guys, I just bought the magnet, which is good because it collects pollen in nine surrounding patches in 0.8 seconds. It collects two pollen from each of those patches. And that is very good. The next thing we will be going for is the canister because the canister is the best uh, holder container in the basic shop and we want bigger container because if we have to keep on going back to the hive to make honey then we cannot hold enough pollen and that is not good so something I do want to do is turn in this brown bear quest and guys even if you don't have a quest for it whenever you're walking collect pollen it will speed up your entire process of becoming a pro because you are constantly getting pollen and as you can see guys the magnet is connect collecting pollen much faster than the clippers were as you can see guys the ladybug in the right in the middle have respawned let's see if my hasty bee can kill one of them before he has to go to sleep. And he has killed the rhino beetle right before he had to go to sleep. Now let's turn this into brown bear, guys. Great job, bud. Here's some royal jelly. You've completed one of my quests so far. Complete four more. And I'll give you three field dice. And if you complete 24 more, I'll give you a silver egg. I haven't quite finished preparing the next quest for you. Check back in with me in 47 in min uh, 48 minutes and we'll be ready to roll. He gave us a royal jelly, a ticket, and 2,500 honey. Now something I will recommend to all of you when you're playing the Storm Simulator is research. Now it sounds so boring. I mean we're playing game dude, like stop this. This is nonsense. What are you talking about, man? I mean Red Visor, have you gotten insane? Kind of kind of not. As you can see guys, research is very complicated. I mean, we do it in school, it's boring, but you are learning a lot, aren't you? Well, in games, it's kind of the same thing. If you research about what the pro strategies are, you will become a pro. And that's how the strategies are made. Pros became pros, making strategies. And if you just do a quick YouTube search, you can find all those strategies. And guys, something you will notice when you're playing this game is there are some hidden features. If you've come by the shop, you have glanced of these two tickets. Now, one of them is obviously unreachable. I mean, guys, the there are two ways to get this. Either you shoot a cannon that are located around the map. There's the blue cannon. The red cannon is right there. The yellow cannon is 
up by science bear over there and there is another cannon somewhere else now you can shoot a cannon and use a parachute or a glider to come down here and get that or you need 20 bees to come around there jump up there walk there and get the ticket but we don't have that yet guys now this ticket is a little taunting because you literally can collect it and if you've jumped up here you can see all of that craziness i mean what is that there is a way to access this if you turn to the left jump back here come up here don't walk forward there's lava be careful lava is very very notorious for killing a bunch of people now that looks super cool right guys you can't go there it's another one of on trolls i wouldn't say the troll the troll for noobs who can't go there you need some serious boots if you are to jump up there jump up there and you also need the glider if you are to jump up and glide down there and guys we don't have any of that go back go back oh my gosh guys okay we will not talk about what just happened so let's go back around here and ignore that ever happened guys please for my sake now let's jump right around here jump up here jump up here and you've got yourself three free tickets as simple as that guys you think you're stuck i say you need to jump and climb up yourself like so now this is the honey dispenser which i will enable by the next episode guys i honestly don't think we needed it for this episode but in later episodes we will have it enabled now let's talk to black bear really quick after this quest guys i will have to end it off nice job here's our word to hold you over a few more quests and the silver egg is yours that's right no lag yet you've got to work for it there are three colors of flowers on this mountain red white and blue if a bee is red, it collects twice as much pollen from red flowers. And if a bee is blue, it collects twice as much from blue flowers. Work in fields that match the color of your bees helps you collect pollen faster. For my next quest, I want you to collect 600 pollen from red flowers. Now, if you noticed, guys, back here, behind Black Bear, there is some stuff back here. If we walk back here, as you can see, there is this weird looking thing here. If we collect it, you found three microconverters. Now, if you are wondering what this is, you can look it up and find out how to use it. But in this video, we will not be using this, guys. Now, enough of this playing around. There's another secret I would like to share with you noobs, just to make, give you a little helping hand, okay? If you walk back here, yes, there is a secret tunnel. And now you have the secret tunnel. A super cool maze. Now guys, no turn right, turn left, go here, and on it made this maze easy, but it is like super cool, blues literally so bright, and here you go guys, you found five free tickets, now guys, if you look at these tabs, there's a shop, but guys, who want to spend 800 Robux on this bear bee? You have no idea what it is. Who wants to spend money on a cub buddy? Like, no one wants this. 
We just want to play a fun game and have a fun time. So if I were you, skip this part. But if you have millions of Robux and like a lot of Robux you just want to get rid of, then I would go ahead and buy the things that look pleasing to you. If you do end up buying something with Robux, I would definitely recommend getting a cup buddy. These guys are super helpful and what's super cool about them is that you can name them whatever you want. In this series though guys, I will unfortunately not, not be spending any Robux. So if you want to see me spend Robux on Roblox, I will definitely start spending Robux if we hit 1,000 subscribers, guys. 500 is enough to get me to start spending Robux. Now, guys, if you have a lot of Robux, you might be able to afford some of these boosts. That will be super helpful and help you get honey way faster. Now, a mistake a lot of people do is they get these type of purchases when they become OP. But guys, they really help a lot when you're a noob. So get them early on and keep them throughout the entire experience of playing Beast Orb Simulator. Now back here, there is nothing here. So once you go here, get your tickets, walk back here. Now, Audit is notorious for trolling, like I said earlier. So if you come through the right path, you will see some jelly beans, guys. Now, how is that a troll, Red Visor? Like, did you lose your mind again? No, because as you can see, guys, there is a star jelly. And if you're wondering what that is, it's kind of like a royal jelly, but it turns your bee gifted. And now, gifted is basically when your bee has a special ability. Each bee has a different gifted hive bonus. When your bee is gifted, it gives a bonus for your entire hive. For example, if my hasty bee was gifted, its gifted hive bonus would be plus 20% move player move speed. Now that doesn't affect my entire hive, but that affects me. And as you can see guys, we can't get the star jelly. Why on it? Why did you troll us? Well... That's why they call him on it the troll. No, I'm just kidding. This is a great game, guys. You should definitely check it out if you have never heard of it. And it's super fun to play. If you're out in a field collecting pollen, it can be very relaxing. Pop in some headphones, listen to some music, and just relax, guys. Now, this is where I will be ending the video, guys. Like subscribe and share the video if you enjoyed this video guys and this is only the first episode of the series so hit the notification bell to be the first one to see and listen to episode two which will be coming out in a few days i upload two times a week once a week if we don't get that much support but if we get more it might turn into a three guys so, I'll see you next time. Red Visor, out.